Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Jack Pine Savage Outdoors. Here we're in Mackinac City, heading north across the Mackinac Bridge to Moran Township. Um, we're headed to Brevoort Lake and Black Point Resort. Um, we're going to do some perch fishing. It was a really great weekend, blue skies, and really cold weather, lots of ice and lots of fun. Um, thanks for checking out our video. This is Black Point Resort, Moran Township, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Pretty sweet spot. Looks like it's pretty busy for ice fishing too. This is the beach area. Looks like they got public restrooms and showers because these are all campgrounds also. Every place has a fire ring and they cut wood for you and it's pretty legit. RV hookups. And then these are the cabins. It's the old prairie. It's been getting us out on the ice pretty good. Jet sled magnum. Silverado. This is the cabin entrance here. Number two, like I said, there's like three all in a row. Totally could accommodate groups of 10 or more here easily. Dallas. Hi. <clears throat> See inside of the cabin. Bedroom number one. A bedroom number two. There's even like a shower. Get the stink off you. And there's a toilet. And of course, safety first. All right, we're getting ready to head out on the lake. Michigan's beautiful Upper Peninsula. <sighs> so I've got the quad fired up and ready to go. Ready? I think so. <laughs> I'm like one foot in, one foot out. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, send her. This is the spot, or a spot. Oh. What do you think? Do you want to keep going? Uh, let's poke a hole and let's see what the down there. Come on, meow. Oh. We got some serious ice up here in the UP. There it is. Looking for 12 to 18 feet of water and hopefully some plants yeah, see what's down there. on the bottom. We didn't really have a lot of luck in the first spot, just pretty muddy bottom. Um, we didn't really have a lot of experience on this lake, so we were kind of just using hydrographic maps to figure you out which spot was best. Over there. Nine feet. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we got on the quad. It makes doing these big lakes so much easier and try to find another spot. And a side by side sending her. At this point we saw Darren, our host at the Black Point Lodge, and he had given us a hint uh, earlier in the day that maybe go across to the other side of the lake where other people weren't fishing. We 
saw Darren, our host at the Black Point Lodge, and he had given us a hint. So we saw him in on a side by side and decided right, right. to uh, head along with. Totally understandable. Yes, uh, 11 feet of water? Yeah, no, nine and a half. We were definitely getting warmer. No, pretty mud bottomy. There might be toolies. It's not a defined line. How close are we to that submergent vegetation? Look at this drop. Oh wow. Yeah, see? It goes from 16 to almost 25 feet of water right here. And that's that way? And then we've got all this. Yeah, right. 10 feet. Fishy? Yep, I like it. This would be a good... I think that is fishy. Good place to set up our traps. Try it. It's definitely toolies. Right? You know? So like if we get, yeah. I like this spot. I like this spot too. Finally, we found what we were looking for. Nice little drop off, nice little spot to set up some tip ups. Yeah, yeah. And of course, the all important structure and toolies right on the there, bottom. Yeah. It's time to fish. on the foam mats in the shack here not only helps to keep us warmer but it actually helps to keep the ice from melting from the heater in here keeps uh creates like a thermal barrier between you and the ice so keeps you from getting standing water in your shanty over time stays uh a lot warmer, a lot drier. <sighs> Makes the propane last a lot longer. <sighs> Only downside really to these pads is they're bulky. They take up a lot of room in your sled or whatever when you're trying to get out on the lake. If anybody can attest to the pads, it'd be Zeb. He literally spent the night on them. <sighs> Got laid right on the ice, he says. We got the shack set up, holes in the ice, cameras are going. Let's uh, drop a lure down, see what's going on down there. So I'm going to start off with my old reliable 13 fishing tickle stick. Got the Black Betty inline free fall reel and a if you can see that, 132nd ounce chartreuse tungsten bowl fly jig. We're just going to go ahead and tip that with a little bit of Canadian crawler meat. Let's see what's down there. All right, let's drop down. Let's see what's going on down there. Ooh, we got the panoptics set up right. Look at that. Right to the bottom. Pound the mud a little bit. Immediately Mark's chasing up. Immediately. What do we got? What do we got? It's a perch. It's a dink perch. <laughs> it's gotta be a dink perch. Hey, yeah, yeah and they're getting there. We're See getting the there. bellies on on the lid? They're fat, they're dude. Well fed. Well fed of perch. the jumbo variety. Right? right? Small jumbos. Oh my goodness. Look at that action. Here we go. And we What's got right? a big perch. Another big perch. Oh, I'm smacking them, dude. Papa. Yeah, right. What about a husnick 
beef stick. Ooh, boy. I don't know if I'm quite ready for it's beef It's just regular. Today. I'm going to pass for now. I'm not going to oh, pass Here they now. come, dude. Get some. Oh, he wants it. Yeah, got him. That's a nice fish. Yeah. It's a better fish. It kinked the tip a little bit, didn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, watch the fruit. <laughs> yeah, no shit. You gonna pull some shit like that? You can go right back in the hole. Get out of here. Get, get going, get. Man. All right. See him, he's seen it. He's like, oh. oh. Take it. Nice. Oh my God. Look at that huge mark down there, though. Must have been the pipe trying to eat them. Right. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're moving up in the perch mm -hmm. world. Yeah. You can clean that one. If we keep progressively catching slightly bigger perch by 4.30 this afternoon, we might have an eater. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little bit of this beef stick on there. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, buddy. So that little beef stick on there. Oh, man. Nuts. Beef stick. Wax worm. Dude, they're... I mean, if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for a perch. Oh, there we go. Look at that dude. Beef stick fish. Oh, oh yeah. doubling up, man. Doubling up. Oh, there we go. no. I was oh. busy looking at yours. Look, they took the waxy and, and not the beef oh, stick. Oh, it's too spicy for them, Too bud. spicy. Too spicy. Peppery beef sticks, you know? Yeah, yeah. Body. Whatever you mm -hmm. got a belly full. Nice. Nice, nice. Loop. Deuces. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. <sighs> God, they're fat. They're obese, perch, gluttonous. Man. There's another one. Yep. Look at all puffy. Flared out and puffy. They'd be puffy to me. Just like two inches bigger, man. They'd be worth fucking keeping. I know it, right? Just for the record, Waxy left no meat stick. So this is a meat stick perch. Is what oh, we call these are yep, meat yep. stick perch. Meat stick perch. Yeah, they're hitting the Scandy with nothing on it, dude. Really? Oh, it might be my best one yet. He's taking drag. Oh, man, don't even use bait. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's a keeper. He's it's a keeper. Oh, for sure. He's a keeper? Yep. We keeping him? Absolutely. Okay. Where's 25? Yeah, pitch him up there. So. Nice. Oh, oh. One perch in the pot, boys. One down. 24 to go. I'm going to limit out. 24 to go. Oh, this one's bending the tip a bit, too. Perchy. Perchy Lurchy. He's not a keeper. He's a strong bastard. Oh, you're jacked, aren't you, bud? You work out. This is CrossFit Perch. Nice, tight six-pack. <laughs> Deuces. Oh, that's a dink. We got ourselves dink perch, boys. Ow! Fuck yeah, you. their gill plates are super sharp. Dude. I Be see careful. that. Deuces. Ooh, ooh, this one would be nice. Yeah. Likes to shake its head. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that, dude. That's a keeper, bud. There we go. That is an eater. Aggressive today. I mean, you know, that's a, I don't know. Looks like seven and a half inches. Oh. Oh. Yeah, about seven and a half inches. That's as small as I'd ever want to keep them. Perchy Perch, got him. He shook the worm meat right off there and then spit the hook out, dude. <laughs> you like that? You're old pros, man. Oh, buddy! Champ of the day so far. Look at that, dude. What is he, at least eight inches? Probably. That is a nice percher. Getting him right, see that? Right in the top lip, too. Perfect. I think that's the advantage of the Haley, you know. Right. Oh, close to nine. That's yeah, nine. It's nine all day, bud. Nine and a sixteenth. Nine and a sixteenth. <laughs> nice. Oh, like that. See the two is on the side of his face. Yeah. He's got a mustache. <laughs> it's like it's like Salvador Dali. <laughs> Dink perch. Dink perchers. Sir. Thank you. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Not bad, not bad. Oh, man. There's got to be even bigger ones down there. Dink. Dink. Stop it. Stop it. 
That's a dink. I don't want you. No. I didn't want to catch you. I didn't want you, sir. I wanted the big one next to you. Oh, you're even smaller. Freaking dinks. Dink perch. Smacked another one. Oh, we feisty? No. Dinky. Dinky do. Got him. Oh, oh. Oh, you're feisty little dude, huh? I'm talking to the perch. I can't stop slaying them, dude. It's insane. Good fish. Top left is the nine incher. Had to catch about a hundred of them, get keep three of them, but that's the odds in which we are dealt. Thanks for checking out the video on Lake Brevoort from Jack Pine Savage Outdoors. Um, there will be a part two to this, so please uh, check that one out when it becomes available. And uh, if you could take some time and like and subscribe to this video, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, we had a really good time making this video, and we hope to keep making more. Once again, guys, thanks for stopping by.